is a UFC featherweight division fight. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. Three years apart with similar height and reach. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Fighting out of Campina Grande, Pereira, Brazil. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it fight. Ready. Ready fight. All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a slightly advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice punch lands over the top. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Missed with that right hand. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. And he landed the right hand there. Checks that leg kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. 
that's a big strike right there. Nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. It's such a fast leg kick. Gets up again here, but hurt. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kicks. Nice kick. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. He is all about that left kick to the body. Look at how he turns his hips into that leg kick. Oh, nice elbow. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. Big elbow land on the side of the ball. Big head kick. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him very bad. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Massive head kick. Both of these gentlemen are putting it on the line. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Jab hurt him a little bit. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it. That was the right time. Good. Run. He's looking to land the right. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Big knee to the body. Oh, nice jab counter for him there. And he caught the kick. Big kick lands. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that land. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. 20 seconds left. Lee gets caught with that punch. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. 10 seconds to go in the round. Five minutes in the books. All right, so a big round for him there. Maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it. It landed, and he almost got the finish. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Lands flush with that right hand. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, he 
he lands another strike to his opponent's liver. There continue to be openings there. He targeted it effectively earlier in the fight, and the defense hasn't prevented him from doing so. If it's not broken, no need to fix it. Counters with a right hand. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Nice head kick. Big ball punch lands. Now we get back to range. Oh! Oh, big left hook there. Hands high, hands high. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Right hook attempt, that's a miss. Real quick leg kick. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one, so he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice straight punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice one-two there. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Nice kick landed there by Lee. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. There's the leg kick. That one checked by Lee. Leg kick. How about that shin? Just a slip there. Oh man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Luke. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. And he eats a right hand there. Lee's overhand punch to the head doesn't get to the target. He telegraphed that one, and it gets blocked. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, big punch lands. him with a head kick that at least partially landed oh my goodness he got kicked in the head and he's still standing 30 seconds now to go around oh he goes with the punch and he lands oh nice job using his strength there the posture up we'll see what he can do he's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top oh nice work from the bottom tags him with the punch Ten seconds remain in round two. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. <laughs> All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've gotta be celebrating. They've gotta be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight.
You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Caught that kick there. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Blocks the shot. Whoa! Hey, strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Back to the feet now. What a tricky head kick. Big punch lands through the middle. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Wow, huge head kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Huge block there. Outstanding kick there by Lee. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Real sneak body kick. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accurate. Oh, 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 that's the biggest shot of the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. That's a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he's staying up. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. Lands with the right hand. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. Quick hit movement there, and he does indeed get back to his feet. Nicely done. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up for lost time here. What a punch. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, you're coming to high kick. Then you're in a lot of trouble. Lead shot there is blocked. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. You are battering that nose. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. He lands an outside leg kick of his own. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Beautiful strike. Such a sneaky head 
head kick he did. Not like the guy. Nah, and now he's got him hurt bad. Entertaining scrap so far. Both guys have absorbed a lot of punishment here tonight. Exciting fight. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Try to establish that jab. He blocks the punch. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his corner, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. And he lands the knee to the body now. Nice punch lands over the top. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Body kick is blocked. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. That was a perfect shot. Punch over the top. Unable to land the head kick there. Big body kick. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. Lands with the knee of the body. Three minutes remain in the round. That was a thudding leg kick. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Well placed kick there by Lee. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. Didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing it. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw it. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Lee's hooked. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. That one appeared to stun him. Good fight here, under two to go. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Watch these little bodies, and that right hand in the square. Misses with that punch. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Knee to the body. And there comes the separation now. Punch 
Punch is blocked. The right hand just misses. Lee gets hit with a kick. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Close guard. Just misses with the right hook. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. Here we go, fifth and final round. Nice loop and punch. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Way to hide that leg kick. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Man, he's timed his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Big leg kick land. Lee's kick attempt there blocked. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Beautiful punch. Nice right punch followed by a left. Straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Beautiful body. Kick. Well, they won't need to go bonus begging after this one. They're getting a bonus tonight. This fight has been all action from the opening hook. I mean, what a phenomenal fight. Both fighters should be very proud of themselves. Oh, what a fantastic fight to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Under three minutes now to go round five. He's going to start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. Oh, he might have got him with a choke. Wow. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control in the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction, you throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. So aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight.
So there he is after the big TKO victory here tonight. He had some doubters coming in. He certainly muted those naysayers here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 21 seconds of round number five. We play the winner by TKO, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, what a win for that young man tonight by TKO. And if the judges were looking at their phones, it's okay. We don't need their scorecards. Tonight. We don't need your scorecards. Do as you may, proceed as you may, because <laughs> this guy knew that he had to finish this fight. That's exactly what he did. He got his opponent hurt, found the follow-up shot, and got 